This thing is bigger than my head. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Mariana, but you can call me Mary B, and I am so, so happy to meet you guys. If you are new here, I am a professional singer. I used to work on cruise ships. Now I currently work at five star hotels around Asia, and basically, my channel is a little bit of snippets of my life. So if that is something that you guys are interested in, be sure to consider subscribing. And if you do, please click that notification bell down below so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Oh, by the way, if you are new around here, I'm currently in Shenzhen, China. This will be my second time filming a haul for you guys because if you guys haven't seen my video where I told you guys that I lost all my footage that I recorded of everything, it's a lot more stuff than this that I'll be showing you here right now that I actually ordered. But some of the stuff like I already like have in use and stuff and I don't want to like uh, go get every little thing, you know, so. I'm sorry about that, but I will just show you guys like I've purchased some new stuff as well. So I'm just adding in the new stuff with just a couple of the bigger items that I basically bought for my room here. Starting off nice and strong with um, <laughs> what you're seeing right here, um, this palm plant that i ordered i will try to get the prices for all of the items i should have the prices actually if i'm not mistaken i should still have the prices in the app so i will um have the prices on the screen for you guys but yeah i purchased this plant because when i first walked into my room here everything was just like i like the color scheme the browns and the tans and nudes and the the, the neutrals i like the color scheme a lot however it seemed very depressing <laughs> when I walked in because there's nothing on the walls. There's no greenery. There's like, like nothing. Okay. It, it was, it just looked very depressing. So I have just been trying to get, um, little things to make it look a little bit more like home or more comfortable for me, but not quite like home. Cause this is not actually really my home. You know what I mean? Um, so I got this, uh, palm plant that is behind me right here. Artificial. It's actually in a cemented, pot and i love that like the pot is plastic but it's cemented the, the artificial plant itself is cemented down into the pot and i love that next large items is these uh little wall art abstract wall art that i i got to put on the walls above the bed so i actually had these up before right i didn't take it down for the sake of this video i promise you <laughs> I actually had put these up before, but that was in my original room, but I've since switched rooms. And since I switched rooms, I took it off the wall, luckily, but I, I'll show you guys what I, so I hung them with these little, like they're like wall stickers, they're clear. They have this little, and they're pretty solid. Um, so they're sticky, so you just stick them. And uh, basically with the way that the back of these are, I just pop the little silver part. I just pop this in here, basically, and it hangs on the wall nicely. So yeah, since I've moved over to this new room, the rooms are identical. By the way, it's just, everything is now like on the opposite side. Like my bed was here on in the other room. Now my bed is over there, like that kind of way. So everything is now like on the opposite side, but it's practically the same room same layouts and everything it's very like i love it i love the colors i looked for colors that would match well with the theme of the room already because i as i said i already like love the theme of the room when i walked in the color scheme so i just got artwork that matched with that and i love this it looks it looks really nice i'll actually put a picture on the screen right here of what it looked like when i had it up in my original room by the way this wall art i purchased two of them Next item that I purchased is a mini toaster oven because the only thing that we get in our little kitchenette here is a kettle. So I wanted something where I can heat up food. Like if I don't feel, cause I'm not a morning person. I don't like, especially after working late nights, 
the last thing that I want to do is wake up in the morning and go around the strangers or I don't mean to say it like that the last thing that I want to do when I wake up in the morning is just go around people in general and then you end up having to speak to people in the morning you end up having to speak to people because like I am just a pleasant person like I will never just walk past someone straight I will always say hi how are you doing how's your day like these kind of things I'm you know what I mean so because I am like that I just prefer in the morning time to not be like that and I never want to be unpleasant around anyone so I just stay in and so yeah I heat up my food and stuff here if I need if need be so yeah the little mini toaster oven next item that I picked up as well was a, a little two-tier tray I had to build it up um it came disassembled and I just built it up but it was pretty pretty nice and easy to build up um I have it in the bathroom where it's storing I'll pop a picture here so you guys will see I basically like have it storing like toilet paper air freshener toilet bowl cleaner all these kind of things because there is nowhere to put anything at all in the bathroom area like nothing so I bought the two tier tray for that I think this is the large the the last big item that I picked up and it's the thing that's giving me this nice bright light that you guys see in front of me right now you guys if you only know how huge this <laughs> this panel light is i forgot to tell you guys this the app that i purchased things from is called um panduo and it's a local chinese app everything there's not not a way to translate into another language everything is in mandarin and so if you want to know what anything else besides looking at the pictures you have to screenshot and then go to the translate app i use apple translates and sometimes google translate but google translate doesn't always work here because google is blocked in china so I go to the Apple Translate app, I put the screenshot in and I just like read. That's how I read, I read reviews. I <laughs> Listen, in order to order something on these apps here in China, it, it's, a, it's a day job, okay? You need to go screenshots in order to read reviews and stuff, screenshot the reviews, go in the app, go, um, go into the Translate app, read the reviews, see what people are saying. All these things now mind you this had really good ratings and it deserves a rating it, it's like pretty I love it I just when I was taking it out of the box I wish you guys could have seen my face when I was unboxing this it caught me by surprise because I had no idea it was that big it's like like three times the size of my head <laughs> I did not expect it to be so big because like I just wanted a panel light, like probably like half the size of this is what I want, really wanted to be able to put in my carry-on to travel with and stuff. But whoo, it's big. It's big. Can't put, I don't think this can fit in my carry-on. It definitely has to go into my check-in luggage. Yeah, that's the situation. Anyway, um, I picked up this little portable steamer. It can be used as an iron. You pop the water in here. Um, so yeah, it, it's white with this rose gold trimming and I love it. Um, it can be used as an iron or steamer. I love it. Um, you can also hang it as well if you wanted to do that. I had a steamer before on my last trip to Vietnam. However, I didn't think that I would need it here, but boy, was I wrong. I needed it. Don't get me wrong. They do our laundry and stuff here for us. It's just that when I get my clothes back, it's not fully crease free. L let me put it like that. And uh, I prefer, unless it's like linen like this or something, like it needs to be crease free. <laughs> Okay, so I bought this steamer to replace the other one with because I left the other one home I didn't think I would need it. So. I also picked up this face steamer you guys. This is what it looks like. It's like probably half the size of the one that I had when I was in Jakarta. Oh, I don't like this one much at all. I'm not gonna lie because it leaks like it's doing right now. <laughs> it leaks and I'm, I'm done with that yeah it leaks it doesn't give your entire face a good steam but then again it's smaller 
than the one I had in Jakarta. The, the reason that I gave up the one that I have in Jakarta, I gave that one to my sister. It's because it's just, because it's so big, it's, it picks up too much space in my suitcase, okay? And space when you're traveling for months at a time, the luggage space, it's important. So that's the reason why I gave it up. But now I'm thinking I just might have to get back another big one. I don't know because this small one, I don't like it much at all. It leaks when it's not in use and that doesn't happen with the big one. And then this one, because of how the steam comes out, like just in this little narrow kind of area, um, you end up having to, I end up having to do my face like this in order to get the steam all over it so that's um first world problem so <laughs> anyway um uh, the next item that i picked up also is this oh i turned it on so the next item that i picked up is this led face mask and this one is a silicone one so it can bend and it can also like lay completely flat which is better for me for traveling as opposed to the big bulky one that i had in jakarta um i also gave that one to my sister as i said when traveling your luggage space is crucial so the things that can are smaller it's much better so the fact that this can lay flat it's perfect i can fit this in i can put this in my carry-on put things on top of it and stuff and everything is fine and this can also be detached right here so it's not like like i can also always put pop this into my electronic bag or something like that you know so yeah and it has like i think about 14 different colors but i really only just use the green color because that is the safest one for our skin for our for my melanated skin as well as also for getting rid of dark spots which is my what what i'm working on this year I also picked up this LED mirror. So this is what it looks like basically. It's a mirror. It can stand like this or like this. And it has a light that turns on. You can turn the light on there and it has different color um, lights as well. Three different color modes. And you can also like brighten it or dim it as you so please it's very lightweight so perfect for traveling i also picked up this xiaomi portable photo printer and uh, i haven't opened it yet or anything like that so i am probably gonna do so later or tomorrow but yeah so it's a photo printer and i just wanted to have it comes the photo printer by itself it comes with five printer paper at, um in the box itself but i picked up an extra box of 50 of the papers so this is how it comes so this is what it looks like i haven't well, as I said, I haven't opened it or anything like that yet and used it or anything like that yet. So I can't I give you guys a full review on it just yet. But this is the five pack of photo printer uh, paper that it comes with. And then, as I said, I picked up an extra box of 50. So I also picked up this book called Atomic Habits. I have read this book before, but I've never had the physical copy of it. I've read it on Kindle and also on Audible. <laughs> um, I'm an Audible girly. It's the fastest way to read books, so I love it. But then when I saw it and the price that I saw it here for, I was like, no, no, no. I have to get the, the physical copy of this book. Needs it. So you guys, I also picked up two mini candles. Y'all know like scent is a big thing for me. So I love when I walk into a space and it just smells clean and crisp. I love that. So I picked up these two, two mini candles from Tiffany and Co in China. I told you guys, I'm, I'm not sure if that was the last video, but I told you guys in China, when you're buying things, especially for the prices, you never know if it's original or not. But I just assume that they're not, <laughs> honestly. And this is how the two candles come looking. Um, this one here has a Tiffany & Co, New York since 1837. And this one at the bottom here just has the and sign. 
Tiffany and Cold New York since 37. So, yeah, this is what they look like. So, they kind of smell similar to the perfume. They kind of do, if I'm being honest, but not as strong as. I will know if I, I'll know when I light it. What it's, I'll know when I light it. Everything else now that I'll be showing you guys are all accessories. So, actually, I have a lot more accessories, but it's like in the closet and in the drawers. I, I'm not gonna, I'm not going back for it. I'm sorry. But yeah, I picked up this this case for my iPhone. It's practically like almost the same case that that is currently on my phone right now. However, with this ring, with this ring doesn't turn so sometimes when I'm holding the phone I have to hold it like this and then it's a little bit awkward or sometimes I have to hold it like this it's a little bit awkward and then if I decide to put it down like this to watch it kind of more stands straight than tilted back because I am a pop socket girl but uh, I feel like nowadays I, I'm like pop sockets get stuck in your pants and, and it's like it sticks out and so I Ever since getting this case, I'm like, oh, I like how the, it, like there's nothing sticking out. It still makes me feel like it's just a regular case, but yet I can still have something to, I still have a stand attached to my phone, you know? So with this case now, it's basically the same kind of stand, except this one rotates 360 degrees. So it's better for me. If you guys would not like to see the state of the case that's on my iPad right now. Like, you will not like to see it. And I was supposed to change my iPad case since earlier this year, I believe. Since last year, I believe, or something like that. And the state of it is disgusting. And it doesn't represent me. So I, put, I picked up a new case for it. And... Uh, this case actually has the part of the Apple Pencil and this case can be used multiple ways. So you can have it like this, stand up like this, or you can use it folded like this, which is, this is what the kind of case that I have currently on my phone, but it only does this alone. Um, but this one I found you can do it like this way multiple different ways and stuff so is this a cover or a case i'm not quite sure because i picked up both a cover and a case i don't know if you call them the same thing no they're definitely two different things or oh, the other one is a sleeve one is a cover or a case and the other one is a sleeve right but look at this isn't that just beautiful oh my look at that and the texture, like, it literally looks like real leather on there, but I know it's not, but um, it's it's just like, it's beautiful. And it's in this beige color. It's a case for my, or a cover case, yeah, for my MacBook. It also came, I wish this came in this same color here. That would be great if they did that, but they didn't. So I have to settle for this boring black yeah which my keys on it are already black so <laughs> like where's the fun in that right so that was the case for the macbook now this is the sleeve so i actually do not since i've had this macbook i actually have not had a sleeve for it since i got it which is not a good thing so um i eventually <laughs> finally picked up a sleeve for my mac and it's in this also gorgeous beige color let me bring it a little bit closer see if you guys can see the texture there right it's beautiful and it's magnetic clothes and also with this by the way it's like this softy type of material but you can also use this sleeve look at this right you can also use this sleeve as a stand for your mac I love that, like, I love that. It's gorgeous. And it also came with this little pouch. And this is basically to put like your laptop. What do you call it, the cable again? 
You guys know what I'm talking about, right? The the cord, the cable for the for the to charge my iPad, to charge my MacBook. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. So yeah. Ooh, I also picked up um this little pouch here, two of them actually. One in a tan color and the other one in an olive green color it doesn't come off olive green on the camera but in person it's like that kind of olive green and the inside is the tan color as well and this is basically like a little toiletry or makeup pouch that you can put in your bags handbags the bag that i have it's like it's getting a little bit too tiny for the things that i have in it and i think that this is now the perfect size not to mention it also has like uh, pockets and sleeves and these kind of things so and also even if it's a tight fit when it opens out then i can see everything this way when i open it out as opposed to the one that i currently am using and the tan colored one is basically the same they're both the same way and the quality of this is great like i wish i could have like a hundred of these like one for ev in every bag but that would also require me to then buy mini tail version of everything multiple times to put it all the different bags so that doesn't make any sense <laughs> i also picked up this um belt you guys this brown belt because the only belt that i currently own is a black belt which i currently have on right now and i have gotten this in indonesia but I do feel that like belts just make everything like make you look so much more put together and I love that. So I picked up this brown one and I think this looks like a dupe for a Christian Dior. The buckle kind of looks like a Christian Dior buckle, but we all know it's a dupe, right? But it, the quality of it is really nice. So my plan originally for these things are and i'm not gonna take them out of the packets because i'm not sure if i am keeping them for myself or i'm just gonna like give them to someone because i initially thought as i said it's the same thing that happened with the panel lights i don't actually know the the sizes of all the things that i see and i buy right and i thought that these were smaller like perfect size because it's actually to put your makeup uh, your powder puff inside it for like on the go however like for me this is too big my powder puffs are smaller than this and nor do I want a big powder puff so I'm not quite sure if I'll end up like keeping these for myself or not because like I've already had these for weeks they've just been here and I have not seen any use for them I really wanted a smaller one so that I can pop it into my little to-go bag you know um, because I try to keep everything as little as possible in these bags but this is just too big and it will pick up too much space so i'm not quite sure what to do about it yet i just may end up like adding it to someone's gift or something last item of this haul you guys are these um shoes here they have a tiny heel on them so it makes it look a little bit more elevated as opposed to if they were flat. But basically what I was looking for was flats. Uh, I was really looking for this in flats, but then I, but then they didn't have them with just flats. It had a little heel and I was like, okay, I, I'll just do it. But yeah, I don't have any brown. And these are just some like basic meals. Usually when you buy cheap meals, whatever buckle or accent that they come with, it usually looks super fake, super fake. But this, it does not at all. Even the stitching, everything, like it looks so like, if you guys look at that, it looks so, so good. It looks way more expensive than I paid for it. And you all will see the price on the screen. But yeah, I don't have any brown shoes at all so i needed to get i just wanted to get like for my capsule wardrobe you know i just wanted to get like a brown because i have the brown belt now i have brown bag and a lot of my clothes they match well with browns because i like i wear a lot of blacks nudes and neutral colors so brown and black shoes are basically all whites but you all know i don't really like white shoes that much but brown and black shoes and white shoes are the 
three color shoes that I need in my in my wardrobe all the time, all year round, because it mixes and matches. Those colors mix and match with everything, basically. So it's like perfect. Anyway, you guys, that is everything that I picked up. Well, mostly everything that I picked up. I didn't show you guys every single thing, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you did, tell me what was your favorite part or favorite item in the comment section down below. Subscribe, click that notification bell, and I will be sure to see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.